How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? Ooh, I love this look. Hey you guys, welcome. I'm Lala's Grand. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, thank you guys so much for the love y'all show me. Thank you for coming back. Now for today's video, I really just wanted to do a look that was quick, easy, straight to the point and a nice natural glam look. Like it's just natural. It's about skin. It's just healthy looking skin. And I love how this look came out. So if you want to see how I came up with this look, keep on watching. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Before I even apply my foundation, I really always make sure that I use a really good moisturizer. And I really like the Belief True Moisturizing Balm. It is such a good moisturizer. Like I not only just use this before I put on my makeup, but I also use this as a daily moisturizer and it's so moisturizing. Like I don't even buy the small container anymore. I only buy the big container because I go through it so often. And in case you didn't know, but using a moisturizer not just helps to just make sure that your foundation is just really nice and laid, but it also helps you throughout the day. Like for me, I always produce a lot of oils, but when I don't use a moisturizer, my oil production is like on fire. It goes haywire, but that's because my skin is like trying to naturally moisturize itself. So to prevent that, if you use a really good quality moisturizer, and if you moisturize before you put your foundation on, you can actually have less oil production because your skin is moisturized. I did let my moisturizer sit in for a couple of minutes, and now I'm ready to move on to primer, and I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Pore Blur Primer. I really do like this primer because honestly, it's really blurring, it helps to give me just a smooth base and it's so affordable. All right, so don't be intimidated with what I'm about to say. I did say that I wanted this to be a really nice, natural, easy, quick makeup look, and it still is natural, easy, and quick with a color corrector. A lot of people get really shy when it comes to using a color corrector. You guys, it's so easy and you only need the tiniest bit amount. For my complexion, I do like to use a color corrector that's peachy red. That way it helps to cover up my dark spots. And all I'm doing is dabbing just a little bit in the areas that I need it. And for me, that's really right under in this area and right around my mouth. It's so easy to do. And I get such a nice natural finish, even base when I use this. So I don't always like to skip out on color correcting and it's really not hard to do, I promise. It's really easy. All you're doing is just blending it in into those little bitty areas where you need it. By the way, it literally took me about 45 seconds to blend out this color corrector. All I'm saying is just try it if you haven't already because it literally just creates such a nice even base at the end of your makeup. So moving on to foundation, I really want to use the Morphe Skin Filter Effect. Is it Skin Filter? Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. I really like this foundation. This foundation is so beginner friendly, easy to apply, and it's almost skin-like. I am going to be using two shades just so that I get that nice warm golden effect that I'm looking for in my undertone. So I'm going to be using Deep 33 and Deep 34. I do have the foundation on the back of my hand, but I promise you, you don't need that much foundation. Less foundation is more, especially when you wanna go for a real nice natural finish and easy makeup, less is more. I'm just gonna first apply this on my face and I like to work in layers. So I'm not gonna put all of it just to start, but just a little bit at a time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. I usually don't put that much foundation on my forehead. Usually what's ever left on the brush, I'll take it up to my forehead and then blend it out. So at this point, after I've blended that out, I actually like to just go ahead and just see where else I might need coverage and just around my mouth is where I'll need a little bit more coverage. Look at this coverage so far, doesn't it look good? And we didn't even use that much foundation. So next, I wanna go ahead and apply concealer. I use this concealer a ton and I'm always recommending it to beginners because it's so easy to blend out, it's so easy to use, and it's a Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer. And I just love the way it looks under the eyes. It just gives such a beautiful natural finish. I'm only gonna put just a little bit just in my inner corner under my eye. And then I also like to put just a little bit right near my outer V. I only put that much concealer. I feel like a little bit goes a long way and it looks more natural if you don't have a whole ton of concealer on. And sometimes when you put too much concealer on, it is so hard to blend out. I'll watch people put on a whole lot of concealer and I'm like, yo, how are you gonna blend that out? It's gonna take you forever. 
And then you have to go back in with foundation. It's just so much, but a little bit goes a long way. Time to blend. So I'm gonna be using a brush today to blend. Sometimes I do use a sponge, but sometimes when I'm in a rush, I just like to quickly use a brush. I feel like for me, sometimes it's a little bit faster. And this brush I'm using is from Real Techniques. I think I got this in like a pack that had like a blush brush and like other brushes and the whole pack was like for 20 bucks. And it's their 402 brush and I really like, like this is a good, affordable brush and it came in a whole pack with other brushes included like it is so affordable and it's so good see how nice that blended out this brush is really nice all right so i'm almost done blending but i wanted to show you guys a trick that i do or just a technique that i do whenever i'm blending out the concealer under my eye and like I want to get like a nice natural quick makeup look. I did this on the other eye but I actually want you guys to see it. So basically what I do is I just carry what I'm blending up above on my lid. It helps to not only just you know serve as a basically like an a primer because it's just priming my eyelid for whatever eyeshadow I'm going to use and it's just quicker and easier that way but it also helps to create just a nice eye shape I think it is a really good technique. So if you're just blending out your under eye, just take that above on your eyelid. And then at the same time while I'm here, I'll literally just outline or just clean up my brow just a little bit more. So I'll show you guys that in a second for what I do to my brow when I'm at this point. But you see how a little bit just goes a long way? Like there's no need to just use a whole bunch of concealer. And then I take this up and I blend this up right here. And then I lightly pat this and bring it down and blend that into my foundation. And then I also go around my nose, down here to my Cupid's bow. So if you can see, I did clean this brow up a little bit. I wanna do the same with this. So instead of doing an extra step, even before I apply my foundation, I just take whatever concealer I already have here and I'm literally just going around and just cleaning up my brow a little bit just to help form that shape even better. Then I'll go back into my brow product and I'll just clean it up just a little bit more. And by the way, if you guys ever wanna see a brow tutorial, let me know. And that's it, like look how easy that was to just blend out that concealer, clean up my brows and basically get my eyeshadow primer all in one go. Like it was so quick and so easy. And what I do at this point is I take my foundation brush, I'm not applying any extra foundation and I'm just going in and just blending out just the areas right around here just to help marry my highlight with my foundation so I get a nice natural finish. For my contour, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. Now, when I originally tried these like back when it came out years ago, I did not like these sticks at all. But I found out that when I use it for my nose contour or just my regular contour, I really love it and it's so easy to blend. So again, because this is just a quick, easy, natural finish beginner makeup friendly video, Ooh, that was a lot to say. I wanna use products that are easy and that also means very easy to blend. And so for my nose contour, I literally just look straight ahead in my mirror. I take the edge of it and I literally just guide this up basically into my brow just like that. And by the way, this shade is in the shade Espresso, but I also like to go in with another matchstick, I know. This one is in the shade Ebony, and the reason why I like to use mainly Espresso and just a little bit of Ebony is because I feel like I don't want a nose contour that is just so like pronounced. I just want it to look natural, but there. And I feel like these two shades together gives it to me, but also Ebony, I'm gonna use as my contour. You're gonna just take this right here 
And I like to actually put this not right in where that dip is, but just a little bit above because I want to basically have like them really nice high snatch cheekbones. So I put it up just a little bit higher, but not too high because you don't want it to overpower where you placed your highlight. And all you need is a little bit. And then I'll take just a little bit of it and I'll go right over the first shade, but not too much. This brush is the Morphe E63 brush and I really like this brush. The way it's shaped, oh, look at this. The way it blends out my contour, it's just perfect. Like, it just gets it on the angle and blends out that product right where I need it to be. Can you see how easy this is blending? Like, almost no effort at all. Of course, we gotta get this jawline. I really don't like using these matchsticks for like my under eye highlight. I don't, mm -mm. I tried that when it first came out. I did not like how they look, but as a contour, these matchsticks are really nice. And remember, we're going for a nice natural look. So I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend this in, just the edges in with whatever product I have left over in. I feel like this just helps to just create that nice natural looking finish. Then I go back in with the same brush that I used to blend out my highlight and I'm gonna blend out my nose contour. You guys, when I was a beginner in makeup, nose contouring was the thing that I dreaded the most. I felt like I didn't understand it. I could not get it right no matter how many times I tried. And when I would attempt to do it, I would always have a dark line that just like stayed there. Like no matter what different products I use, I guess I was just using like the wrong stuff. Like I could not get my nose contour to blend out and it looked absolutely ridiculous, but when I finally found out how to do it and do it right and found the right products for it, I love the way it looks. So it's really important that when you use your nose contour or whatever product you're using, I really do recommend using these, but you can use whatever you like. Just make sure it blends out nicely. But whatever you use, just make sure that you actually get the shape of it right. Don't be afraid to take it right underneath your brow. It's just the natural contour lines of your face and it looks really nice if you just follow the natural contour lines of your face. Okay, so now it's time to set the under eye. Now before I do this, it's really important to go back in and blend out all the creases that have developed just to make sure before I set with powder, I don't have any product that's settled in my fine lines because if I go ahead and set with powder right now, then I'm gonna be setting my creases, if that makes sense. I'm gonna be setting creasing. Does that make sense? I'll be setting creases in my crease. Anyways, just make sure you go ahead and blend before you set with powder. And before I go in with my loose powder, I actually like to take a foundation powder and I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty. This is in 370. This is not my foundation shade. This is simply just to just set under my eye before I go in with the loose powder. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder, and I always take a sponge after I use a brush to just set my under eye even more. And I actually tap the product that's on my sponge on the back of my hand before I go in on my face. I actually just like to form this line. This actually just helps to create that nice nose contour. And then I'll go in the middle and go on up with the powder as well. Personally, I don't bake. As soon as I'm done, I'll go in with my brush and I'll dust away that powder. And then whatever excess powder I have on my hands, I'll take it 
and I'll just take my sponge and I'll go just like this, just underneath my contour. Again, I don't bake. As soon as I do this, I'll just dust it right off. Now it's time for bronzer. So I really feel like part of creating like a nice natural makeup look that's just so flawless is working in layers and playing with different tones as well. So I'm gonna be using these bronzers from Juvia's Place. They are so affordable. And I'm gonna be using the shade Dark and Deep Dark. I'm gonna be starting off with Deep Dark and I'm actually gonna be using um, just basically both of these shades. I'm gonna be going over my contour. I'm gonna first start off with the lightest shade, then go to the darkest shade. And then I'm gonna go to the dark bronzer palette and then I'm gonna use just a teeny bit of this because this gives me like that warmth that I'm looking to bronze up my skin tone. And we're also gonna just use the bronzer and the dark palette for my eyeshadow. My Sonia Kashuk brush, of course. I love this brush. So let's talk technique. So whenever you go in with your brush, don't just go in straight on, but just lay the brush against the product. That way you control the amount of product that you get and you can work in layers. I love applying like bronzer and blush. It's something about the feeling with the brush. It just feels so good. And now I'm going into this darkest shade and I'm literally just going to stay right up here where I blended my contour just so that I get just some extra added depth, but I'm not going to take it far down. Look at how pretty that looks. Working in layers really does pay off and it helps to just make your makeup look just look so much more natural. All right, so now I'm gonna take this shade in the dark palette and I only wanna use just a little bit of this and I'll take it in just a little bit further. I'm not gonna use it necessarily as a blush. I have before actually, um, but no, I don't wanna do that today. I just wanna add just a little extra warm. For blush, I'm gonna be using Pat McGrath and this is in the shade Electric Boom. Love this shade, this shade is so gorgeous. And again, a little goes a long way. And I just want a really nice, healthy, like flush of color. So I'm only applying just a little bit. And I just wanna start from up here and then take it down to the apples of my cheeks. Look at how pretty this is. Now, because this look is so easy and natural, we're gonna go ahead and use bronzer for eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take these shades, I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two of them, and I'm just gonna take a really nice, big, fluffy blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend that in my crease. I'm gonna use a liquid liner by Makeup by Mario to line my top lash line. I am gonna line my lower lash line and I'm gonna be using the eye pencil from Makeup by Mario and this is in the shade Perfect Brown. This eyeliner does have a brush at the end of it. I personally don't use the brush because I don't like how it blends out. I'm gonna be using my own brush to blend it out. To set my lower lash line, I'm gonna be using this dark brown shade and I'm just gonna use a flat brush. These lashes I'm using are from Lily Lashes and they're in the style Lila. For my lip liner, I'm gonna be using Cola from Juvia's Place. I don't think I want a lipstick today. I just want a lip gloss and I'm gonna be using Uncensored from Artist Couture. So this is the finished look. I love how this look came out. I love how natural of a finish it is, but you know what? It's really seamless. I feel like the look is just a really nice, natural, cohesive look. And I'm so glad that I worked in those layers and used certain techniques. Some of the techniques that I use. So remember, use a really good moisturizer. Make sure your skin is really nice and moisturized because I feel like that really helps to give me this nice, natural, healthy glow from within. And I did not use any type of highlighter. I promise I did not use a highlighter. It's my skin, y'all. Yes, it's my skin. But it's also this foundation, I will admit. This Filter Effect Foundation from Morphe is a really good, easy, beginner-friendly, nice foundation to use. It blends out easily and it wears really nice on the skin throughout the day. This look is timeless and can literally be worn anywhere for any occasion. It's so beautiful and natural and easy and pretty. Oh, I love this look. Anyways, I hope you guys try this look out. Let me know how quick and easy it was for you and if you got a nice natural finish. I hope you guys were able to pick up some techniques from this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.